When my mom could not longer live independently, her disease was not just devastating for her, it changed all of our lives. I gave up my full-time job and now work part-time. We are using our savings to pay for a nurse to help us when I am at work. That was Maria, whose mother is living with dementia. Maria's experience is shared by countless people affected by the disease. We've come a long way in understanding Alzheimer's since Dr. Alois Alzheimer first observed the disease. What's happened since then, and how can we do more? After Dr. Alzheimer's landmark discovery in 1906, we slowly began to understand it. Alzheimer's was recognized as the leading cause of dementia in 1976, and beta amyloid and tau proteins were identified as the two hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease in 1984 and 1986. With this, it became clear that finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease was going to take some considerable time. The first drug trial was launched in 1987, and in 1993, a drug to slow the progression of Alzheimer's in people with the disease was approved. This was a first major breakthrough, offering hope to the millions of people living with Alzheimer's and those caring for them. But we still need many more breakthroughs to beat the disease. It was in 1994 when Alzheimer's really came to the world's attention, as former US President Ronald Reagan announced that he was afflicted by the disease. Shortly after Reagan's diagnosis, the 21st of September was established as World Alzheimer's Day, with the aim of raising greater awareness about the disease. Research-based biopharmaceutical companies have invested considerable resources in developing drugs to slow the onset of Alzheimer's for several decades. However, it became increasingly clear that it was necessary to join forces. And since then, Alzheimer's research has become a model of collaboration between researchers from universities, hospitals, and biopharmaceutical industry. Today, there are more and more collaborations around the world aimed at overcoming the huge challenge that Alzheimer's poses to us all. But what can we do to ease the heavy burden on patients and caregivers? We all, healthcare professionals, politicians, NGOs, caregivers, people living with dementia and the biopharmaceutical industry, must work together and stand united to fight Alzheimer's. Even though over 100 potential medicines have been halted in clinical trials in recent decades, and only five are currently approved for treating dementia, companies remain undaunted, and at this very moment are investing in the development of 77 potential new treatments for Alzheimer's. When a new treatment does come, we need to be prepared, in particular through our health systems. While we wait, we need to take political steps to encourage early diagnosis, since this allows treatments to begin as early as possible. And we also need to support lifestyle and care-based programs that prevent cognitive decline before treatment is needed. This is where you and I come in. We can all reduce our own risk factors by living a healthy lifestyle, keeping our brains challenged and through regular social activities. And we can identify the early warning signs of Alzheimer's to make early diagnosis possible, if our loved ones are, sadly, affected. While the search for a cure continues, we can all play our part to reduce the devastation of Alzheimer's, a disease that has become a major global health challenge of our time. By joining the campaign for World Alzheimer's Month and by spreading awareness about the disease and about the need for earlier diagnosis and prevention. <laughs>